Jackie, what um, what are some of the best resources that you've used along the way to on your money journey? I mean. Well, I think I'm um, just thinking of a recent example, actually, and it was in that period in between jobs last year. You know, I'm in my 40s now and shamefully, my just super was absolutely all over the shop, like <laughs> everywhere. Like, you know, it was in so many different places and I just decided, okay, well, I'm between jobs. I'm going to kind of do this as a project and started trying to consolidate my super and worked out that I just was really struggling with it and I reached out and I got somebody professional to help me with it. And I think that's another good lesson. It's like I was struggling with it. It would have taken me 100 years. I didn't know what to do. I needed some advice. So I actually just did reach out and I got somebody to help me with it because I thought, you know what, this is a long-term investment and I'm losing so much money in fees mm. because I've got super all over the shop in about four or five different funds from, you know, many, many years working at different companies. And it kind of just really plagued me, you know, over the years. You're like, I better yeah. sort this up. I never did. And money was just kind of draining away. And so, yeah, to reach out and get somebody to help me with that was probably the best decision I ever made because after years and years and years of worrying about it, it finally got done. And I cannot tell you how good it felt when it finally was done to be like, actually, I'm not needlessly wasting money because there comes a certain yeah. point now like when you're in your 40s you go oh my god I actually have to start thinking about this so yeah my yeah. advice you're struggling with it like it's not everyone's forte like I'm not a financial analyst like this is not my thing it's not my training you know so mm. get somebody to help you because it really was a godsend yeah, and it doesn't matter how good you are with spreadsheets, even if that, that does come naturally to you, that some of these, like those sorts of decisions in particular can be complex and really difficult to figure out on your own. And it's so easy, I think, if you're, you know, time poor, professional, you focus on your career, you've got a personal life, maybe family, you've got other stuff that you want to um, focus attention on that, it, you know, it's, it's easy and then it gets too hard and then you go to try and do it and you fire up the comparison side and then you do a bit of research and then you try to you know press around a few buttons and then you hit a roadblock and it's like oh you know too hard oh i'm busy i should i want to be doing this other thing instead and then it just doesn't happen and then more time goes on and then you see the ad on the tv for the super fun thing and then it, it, it's the, just that plaguing thought that just sits in the back of your mind well, i used like, to seriously <laughs> get anxiety when the super ads came on i like got really stressed <laughs> out about it it's so silly but i'm sure there's a lot of people in the in the same boat Oh, absolutely.